Hey, Todd Berry from ToddBerry.com. So I was doing some group coaching not long ago, and this question came up from someone who's actually becoming pretty successful. And so it was really kind of an indicator that I, you know, lots of people struggle with this particular issue, and that is getting a new person started without overwhelming them, right? So if you think about it, it could be easy for a new person to get overwhelmed. There's a lot to learn, right? So what is the most important things for a new person to know, right? It, it, otherwise, think about how much time they could spend just learning your compensation plan, right? Just that alone could fry their brain for several hours, right? Because they're not used to seeing a compensation plan, right? They're used to going to work and getting a paycheck, okay? So it's an entirely different animal. Or, you know, all the ins and outs and ingredients of your product or all the intricacies of your service, right? Just that those areas alone could overwhelm someone and it would be natural for them to think, geez, I have to know all this stuff in order to be effective in the work. When the truth is, that's absolutely false. They don't need to know that, right? They don't need to know the comp plan. They don't need to know the ingredients, right? So they just need to know what to do to get started and you're their tour guide, so to speak, right? So think about it in these terms. The two most important things for a brand new person are them taking action and they're growing their belief, right? That bottom line. Belief, right? The belief is everything. The, the more that they believe they can do it, the more they will do it and the more successful they'll be. Belief is the, the single thing that determines for most people what they'll do. If everybody believed they could see, succeed, everybody would do it, right? So remember that. So action is how you're going to get there, okay? So you want to make sure you're honing in on just the key things. So you've got to make it simple. That's why I think everybody who gets into the industry should have a process book. That little book, that little book helps them go through it and they can read it in less than an hour. And they read it and go, wow, I could do this. Huge, because that's belief and it's about the actions, right? So that or the blueprint process training, which has got you know, two and a half hours plus all the bonuses of content for them to reinforce the learning, but it's all based on the simple steps, right? So you've got to make it simple for a new person to become engaged right away, because the faster you get them engaged, the faster you get them as a result, the faster their belief will start to rise. So what are the actions you want to focus on? So I'm going to make this really, really simple. The first most important action is how to make a contact. <laughs> I mean, how to make a contact. If they don't make a contact, nothing else can happen. And they don't need to know much to make a contact. They just need to have some enthusiasm and know a little bit about what to say and the best mediums to do it and what not to do, right? So it's not that complicated and I teach all that, right? It's available freely. Um, so how to make a contact, why and how to tell their story, why meaning why their story matters, why it's effective, why it's powerful. I teach all that uh, because people don't realize how powerful their story is when they're getting started, right? Their reason for getting started is this, that is the power, right? Because everybody else is trying to solve problems and, and that gives them hope. It makes a connection. So their story is their most powerful tool. They just need to know that it is and they don't know that. They don't believe that and it's up to you to help them and then what tools they use. So you think about it that way, how to make a contact, how to tell their story, and what tools to use to share the product, the service, the opportunity. That's pretty easy. And then the fourth thing is, where does the support come from? Okay, because the next thing they're gonna think about is, well, what if they ask me this? Or what if they need to know that? Or what, and, and if they don't think that they have an answer for those things or a place to get an answer, they won't take the first step because they don't wanna look dumb. Right? They don't want to be in a situation where they don't know how to address it. And then someone can say, oh, geez, you're going to be real successful. You don't even know how to answer a question, right? And that's what's going on in their head. And so what you do is you make sure they know where the support comes from. Well, it comes from our community. It comes from me specifically as the sponsor. And then we have all this different information tools and support. And so whenever you have a question, we've got it all right here. So they need to know where everything is. They don't need to know everything. They just need to know where everything is and how they can access it. So those four things will make a huge difference for them to begin taking the action steps. Because what you want is someone contacting 30 to 50 people in the first week. You want that. That's the business. If they're not doing that in the first week, what are they doing? Right? What, whatever they're doing isn't building the business. Right? There's nothing else for a new person to do. Right? So overwhelming them with anything other than those things doesn't make any sense because it will keep them from engaging and taking action. 
the belief side is going to happen from a the action. The action is going to further their belief and, and understanding because they, you know, they follow the simple steps I teach in the process. And if they contact 30 to 50 people, they're going to sponsor three, four, five, six, maybe seven customers and a few business partners in that first week or two just by doing that. And so that's going to grow their belief really fast, grow their energy, and you'll be able to speed that up if they choose, right? But how do you further augment that belief? You expose them to stories. I'm not talking about grandiose stories of the person who got started and, you know, signed up 49 people in their first month. That, that story will make them feel bad. That's not the story. Stories of people who have made progress, right? And because and, that's social currency, it, it also augments the fact that they're learning from you and you're the one that helped those people make progress. So they, or the, that the approach you're teaching, they following that. So you're giving them belief that they can do it too. And then you also continue to reinforce it through training tools, right? Making success inevitable. The first two of the three for making success inevitable is one, making contacts every day, and two, doing a little personal development and training every day. You mean to make sure they have training. Again, that's why the blueprint process is such a great thing for them to have, or the process book, or whatever other training materials that you have. Um, but third party stuff is really powerful, right? That's really, really powerful because it's not you, right? It's somebody else sharing the message that's reinforcing you. So it has a double back. One, they get the information they need and they get the inspiration they need and they get the education that they need. And two, it makes you look better, right? That's the power of good third party stuff. You're also your Facebook groups, um, plugging them into that, plugging them into any webinars or meetings so they get exposed to more people. That's part of how you build the belief. So one, it's the action right away, keeping it to those four things that I shared and then their belief. Because one thing we all know, because we've all experienced it, is overwhelm freezes you, right? You don't want your new people frozen. You want your new people in action. And so follow this little path that I just gave you, uh, and that will help you. So if, um, if you haven't gotten the 27 scripts, head over to toddbrother.com and put in your email and get your free download. Um, and that's an audio, and all your new people should have that because it will help them all be really effective making contacts right away which is what you would want. Also, while you're there, you can check out the product section for the process book or the blueprint process. I also do training on my live training on my fan page on Facebook five days a week, Monday through Friday. Um, feel free to, you know, to show up there or send your teams. I, I talk about all different kinds of topics and we've got a really good, vibrant community there that you know, feeds topics too and says, hey, talk about this and I do. So if you got value from this and I hope you did, feel free to share it. And uh, I'll see you next time.